All right, so we have IGN's Dragon Ball Sparkling Zero review. Let's go into the video. All right, if I'm the one these guys want, then that's IGN, what gonna get. no less than a nine. IGN, no less than a nine. Direct sequel to Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai. IGN, no less than a nine. Or we riot. Something charming about we Dragon riot. Ball Sparkling Zero's old school design and presentation. It's tougher than Vegeta's chest plate and imbalanced in ways that are both annoying and low. Hey, Jared. Yo, Jared. Are labyrinthian. Get it right, Jared. Training tips are sparse and sometimes not very useful. But every battle is crafted with the sole purpose Here we of go. putting the Dragon Ball Z fighting fantasy as it appears in the anime into our hands. Fast-paced, key-slinging, teleport-kicking, and magical hair-dying is great fun. So <laughs> long as you're patient with its gnarly learning curve. As a result, settling back into the pace and precision of this brawler feels just as much like a labor of love as the effort to resurrect the series in the first place. Oh, oh no! Uh oh, Oops, everybody leaving. I maybe get the heck out of here! <laughs> hey, comment down below. What are you guys giving the game? I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. I don't care what you say. Am I biased? No, no, no. It's undeniable bias. how great Sparking Zero's characters and environments look in still screenshots. Every character, no matter what era of Dragon Ball they're from, looks better than I remember. In motion, things get a bit more dicey, True. with some cutscene animations in particular being awkwardly stiff. But at least the sound hits the mark. Come on, you man. Watch your little stop. brat return safely, Kakarot. Prove your Saiyan spirit. The rocket blast, key explosions, and booming whooshes of Z fighters flying at high speeds are ripped straight off the screens of old TV episodes. Okay, that's not a bad thing. Most of the iconic voices of the various series are recreated pitch perfectly by their original voice actors, too, which is an bro. important detail to get right. Which is fire, bro. Even you, Kakarot. Another win for my inner child was the truly immense roster. 180 plus fighters pulled from every oh my nook and cranny of the series of play. 182 of fighters. Characters are repeated in some fashion. There are 19 versions of Goku, for example. But they all aren't simply reskins. They can have different special techniques and transformation trees, meaning base level Goku from the Saiyan invasion days has a different set of moves and a much lower upside than Boo Saga or Super Arrow. It makes Goku, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. can transform into various Technicolor versions of Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan God. These abilities can't be changed, but I could modify each warrior with ability items that boost things like attack power and health, though I barely noticed any benefit at all when doing so. The controls are universal for all characters, but some on the roster interact with the standard system slightly differently than others, which is an appreciated layer of nuance. Android characters can't actively regain key in order to launch blast attacks, while gigantic characters like Janimba can't be grabbed. Sparking Zero makes no attempt to balance these differences either. Every time I was forced to fight a character that was canonically stronger than mine in the manga or anime, they were just as oppressive in game as I'd expect. Yeah, no they, they're it, supposed to be. But I respect the commitment. They're so they're supposed to Let be. Let me see what you got. Hey, I like that. It's hard. I like that. Hey, this is not for the week. Unfortunately, the bar to execute the various techniques of its diverse cast is very high and extremely frustrating. Inputs are simple overall, but early on, I often felt lost when combat picked up the pace. Part of that is admittedly on me. The last entry of yeah, the series I Yeah, I was about to say, I that's, that's a you problem, bro. But that was right after Barack Obama was elected. The fast pace of Sparking <laughs> Zero compared to Tenkaichi 3 mixed with the lax tutorial system threw my 17 years older reaction speed out of the ring with ease. Oh, yeah. Oh, he admitted that he's, that he's slow. Hey, I, hey I'm giving him the beats. Hey, Jared, you're getting the beats for me. Between regular fights and the training mode to check and double check my understanding of when and how to use these techniques as well as in the settings to adjust my button schemes and accessibility toggles. But really the only effective teacher was 25 brutal hours of getting kicked around. Yep. Also, compared to modern day fighting games, Sparking Zero's training options are rudimentary at best. There's no expectation to lay out frame data and hitboxes in a less competitively focused game like this, but targeted drills or a more nuanced customization of CPU behaviors would go a long way to help beginners and returning players fly up to the high skill man, floor. Man, this ain't, say, this say Minecraft. Man, this is, man, this is for the hardest of the hard, man. Point every time it fills. It's a handful of ways to spend these points. The most common being on unique skills each brawler has, like this. 
Uh oh. Janemba, bye bye. Points also need to be spent carefully on transformations and the new revenge counter system, which works. Bro, a lot I love like the counter system, bro. Killer Instinct. The timing on your defensive options is razor thin and can be a real bear to learn. But these can I'll be I'll admit licensed. that. That's true. And like Key, which is also used for a variety of offensive and defensive maneuvers, the resource management decisions you have to make on a moment to moment basis really add a welcome bit of strategy to an otherwise frantic fight. There is definitely an old school approach to a lot of the progression systems and menus of Spark Zero. You can grind achievements which get you rewards like characters, costumes, and in-game currency at a healthy rate. There yeah. are microtransactions like a $35 season pass covering three packs of characters of and two $15 music packs. Hey, but, but I, I don't mind a microtransaction for this game. I don't mind it. Leaving the game and going to the storefront directly, a rarity in 2024. Similarly, so many of the menus are a hassle to navigate. For example, you can customize characters, oh, abilities, that. and costumes to be used in all modes, but those modes don't have paths to the customized I'll screen. I'll admit that in it them. is. I'll so admit you have that. to exit one completely and go the long way to make adjustments. That's true. This was barely acceptable in 2005. And we certainly don't have to live like this in 2024. Uh, it is what it is. It's fine. But I'll admit the I, flagship he, he's that. I'll, I'll mode that. is called Episode Battles, which is a truncated retelling of the biggest Dragon Ball stories no. from various characters' perspectives. Just about every Dragon Ball game has done this in some form or fashion, but this rather exhaustive version does a good job at keeping the time between battles short and prioritizing the important moments versus making you play every single skirmish as Tenkaichi 3 did. The standout feature this time around, though, is that certain events can actually be cleverly changed for sometimes dramatic yeah, new outcomes. I, I love that. It could involve making a choice during a cutscene or ending a battle in a specific way that then changes the course of the story, sometimes dramatically. But not all of these side attractions are created equal, with only a few I've seen being truly jaw-dropping or substantial like teaming up with Piccolo to kill Cell early. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. Or Trunks, episode and, uh, battles can Trunks be and Vegeta beating Cell. Since powerful characters can become all but immune to your normal attacks and will always have the perfect defense to match your offense, making it tough to experiment and find these largely hidden special conditions when the pressure is on. You can lower the difficulty on a fight by fight basis in order to oh, progress never. if you really need to. Never. But these special tasks must be completed at at least the standard difficulty, making finding them very much an end game activity. But I did appreciate the effort to spice up the stories that have been rehashed at Nausea. Bro, look at Mecha Freezer, bro. What the? There are also custom battles, which exist somewhere you, between Mars! Mario Maker and the universe mode in a WWE game. Using a toolbox full of special modifiers that limit what characters can and can't do in a given scenario, as well as some triggers that help program particular outcomes after conditions are met, these battles can potentially resemble more of a puzzle than just mashing digital action figures together in dream situations. There's a shoddy system for putting together dialogue so that some sort of narrative can be added to them. That's crazy. But the best it can do is loosely set up make-believe stakes. I had no plans to write my own entire Dragon Ball arc, but I am not sure the tool's up to the task even if I wanted to. No, 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 it is, bro. There are bro. quite a few custom battles made by developer Spike Chunsoft baked in, and they don't really stretch the imagination that much. A few of them present interesting scenarios and specific parameters for victory like seeing Kid Goku spar with Master Roshi, who can only be beaten by the Command Man. Oh, really? But I haven't come across an aha creation that really shows me the potential of this mode. No, I did whenever Jiren, uh, whenever Jiren won a tournament of power. Seems to break that was the crazy. Tenkaichi curse of truly abysmal online multiplayer by supplying some solid network play. When wired up, I found minimal latency and lag issues on livelier servers or at least not enough to blame it. I'm gonna say that Ada online is good for me. I don't know what he's talking about. There is a local split screen option for people who want to duke it out in person, but it's disappointingly limited to just one stage. The white void of the hyperbolic. Hey, he mind. must get that spectrum. Even still, oh, hey, 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 I don't know what he... real people that you can hit with a dramatic one-liner or a guttural power-up <laughs> screen is still the best way to do it by far. And then what type of internet he got? Kept you waiting, huh? 
All right, now, now, now. IGN. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a final flash from the past, sometimes to a fault, as demonstrated by its archaic menus and remedial training tools. Its episode battles have the kind of reaction-heavy difficulty that doesn't really exist IGN. in these games these days. More than once crossing the line between challenges IGN. and frustrating. But the feeling of traveling back to a simpler time when games didn't have to be balanced or competitive to be fun is a good one. Especially when that action stays so true to that of the show it's recreating. Reliving a story that was foundational to my youth, looking and sounding as great as I remember it, with the opportunity to alter it in sometimes dramatic new ways. IGN and the addition of tools to attempt to create your own I stories could elevate the experiment even further if the community can figure out how to make the most of it. For more, check out our reviews of Metaphor Re Fantasio and The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And for everything else, stick with IGN. You Excuse me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Because you didn't just hype this game up. Uh, wait, wait, hold up. Let me. Is that a seven? Yo, IGN. I told you stop playing. This is not right. Th this is not right. Who get? Yo, bro, IGN, you should have You should have gave me the sticks. IGN, you should have gave the report to me. If you guys don't know, IGN, they give like what they do is whenever a new game comes out, usually a person, usually a person will play the game, and then they will like write some stuff down to see like you know what they think about it or whatever. They'll write some stuff down. And then they'll like give it to somebody and then they'll like chop it up and edit it up while the person who actually played will like commentate over and, and talk about what they think. Hey, yo, 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 hey, yo, hold up. So like this, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to get this guy's name. Give me one second. Yo, 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 I, I gotta get this guy's name immediately. Hey, yo, Jared Green, R bro, we're reporting you to, bro. Hey, yo, Jared, Jared, you'll never play another game again. Bro, from now on, bro, your thumbs, bro, they got handcuffs over them, bro. Thumb cuffs, bro. GG's, you're never playing another game again. How dare you? This game is a 10 out of 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is, this is, bro, 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 bro. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo. Okay, so Michael Hu, Hu Yin. Michael you uh, you in uh, hashtag at it's a Michael he edited th this whole thing hey yo Jaren yo Jared yo Jared Jackson yo Jared yo Jaren yo Jaren you want to fight yo, yo 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 a seven when 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 did we start getting yo Jared oh his Jared Green yo Jared when did we start getting like listen I understand this is IGN so if if, if this game didn't come from heaven itself, then all I'm at, it's not a 10. Let's keep it real. Now, obviously, I wasn't expecting them to give this game a 10. I was expecting a, uh, bro, a, 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 a 9. I was expecting an 8. A 7 is preposterous. This, no, 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 no. I'm going to be honest with you. Yo, IGN. Bro, we're like brothers. We're like brothers just from different mothers. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I got to snitch on you, bro. I got to tell mom because this is preposterous, bro. Yo, Jared Green, you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Yo, 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 Jared, we can fight if you really want to. And I'm not talking about in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I'm talking about with these. We, bro, bro, this is preposterous, bro. This, this, this is the nastiest work I've ever seen in my life, bro. Th 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 oh, man. Because my heart can't take it anymore. My heart can't take it. My heart can't take this type of, this type of monstrosity. Did I, did I use that word right? I used that word right, didn't I? My heart can't take this type of disrespect, pain, bro. This is like disrespecting Tom Brady. This is like disrespecting LeBron James. This is like, this is like you disrespecting. This is like you giving GTA Five a, a eight. Like, bro, th this is preposterous. Do you not know? And then you tell me some. Oh well, you know, because uh, you know, I used to actually play this game when I was younger. Bro, your younger self would smack you in the face 
for giving us a seven. Are you serious? Come on, are you serious? Yo, you going this way? And listen, listen, I understand, bro. Like, you got to be all professional and stuff like that, bro. Listen, bro, it's it's fine. You're human, bro. Just let the excitement out. I knew something was fake about you, Jared. The way he was even talking. Oh, well, because, you know, the, this game, this is how you sound. This is how you sound. Because even though I... <laughs> Because even though I got molly whopped 5,000 times, you know, I couldn't really adjust to it, you know, because I haven't played it 17 years. <laughs> the game was actually pretty cool. Like, Warp Wolf, huh? That, isn't that the most backhanded? Yo, it's not our fault that you got molly whopped for 25 hours straight. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. Now, listen. Yes. Is the, is the, is the Grade 8 Vegeta mission hard? Yes, it is hard. But, like, bro, you, why'd you? <laughs> A 7 is preposterous, Jared. Jared, God bless your heart. We love you, but this is this is crazy. This is the nastiest work of all time. This is nasty. Comment down below. What's your real yo? Comment down below, everybody. What's your real rating? I'm giving this a ten out of ten. I don't care what you say. Yo, Jared, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Me, me and you in the back. Yo, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, Jared, man, shout out to Jared Green, bro, for this review. But this is cr Man, bro, yo, IGM, yo, next time, get me up there. Yo, IGM, get me up there, bro. I'm, I'm get First of all, listen, I understand. Y'all don't give out 10s unless something came from heaven. Cool. But, bro, this is this is a clear. This is this is a clear 10 out of 10 game. I don't care what you say, man. See you guys later, Smout. In peace.